Hello everyone, welcome back to another YouTube video. Sorry I've been gone for a little. Uh, these take some time, and that is time I have not had. <laughs> um, however, I'm back, and we're gonna do a quick little fusion series thing today. <laughs> um, as usual, uh, it will the finished product will be up on my social medias by the end of the week at the very most. Um, but yeah. Let's just get right into it. There's not a lot of updates that lately, and uh, yeah, these are long, long ones. I'm aware. I'm sorry. I really do try to not make them too long, but uh, I can't rush the sketching process, or else it's just gonna look like a terrible waste of time. <laughs> but uh, let's just get right into it. All right, I'm so excited. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I have no idea what this is gonna be. Um, oh boy. <laughs> okay. Okay, 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 I can work with this. I can work with this. Oh, please just don't be like pyro. <laughs> oh man, okay. All right. Woo, okay. Mm, this is gonna be difficult. Hmm, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I'll be right back with um, an attempted sketch, and we'll just go from there. Oh, this is gonna be difficult. Okay. All right, we are back. So this is what uh, this is what I got. Um, this is gonna be super interesting because they have two very different body types. So I'm gonna have to meet in the middle, and I'm not entirely sure how good I'm gonna be at doing that. Um, but basically, what I decided is I'm gonna do Albedo's hair in like hair color. Um, and you know how, how he has like actual hair, but I'm gonna kind of spike it in a way that looks a little bit more similar to Gang Orca's style. It's kind of gonna, it's basically gonna look like Albedo's hair style, just not, instead of having his hair like up, it's just gonna be naturally spiky instead of in like a little ponytail. Um, and then I'm gonna use Albedo's jacket, but Gang Orca's color scheme with a little bit of the pattern on Albedo's jacket, like the fringe or like the fringe, but I'll probably get rid of like the gold. Um, and I want to keep the chain, and I'm gonna keep his um, shirt. Uh, sorry, Albedo's like shirt vest thing. I don't know the blue thing on that's on the top. I'm gonna keep that, um, and then I'm gonna give him Gang Orca's pants, um, and then probably Gang Orca's shoes as well because I don't think those pants plus Albedo's boots would look that good. So um, we're gonna do that, and uh, I'm gonna give him Gang Orca's hands because I think Gang Orca's hands are really cool. So yeah, we're just gonna go for it. I don't know how this is gonna go, and I can already sense that I'm probably gonna have to cut and like fix up the sketch and then come back. But that's that's fine. That's like there's no rules to this. <laughs> I also figured out, like, I just had, like, a moment of genius where I realized uh, I may not be able to play music, but I can listen to music. So, um, if I, like, trail off or anything, it's because I'm listening to the song. I have headphones on right now, and I'm just listening to a song. I'm listening to the Stray Kids' new album. I don't know if uh, y'all are any, or any of, any of y'all are Stray Kids fans, but, um, yeah, their new album came out a few days ago. Oh man, I've been listening to it a lot, especially the opening song, the Case 143. Oh man, it's so good. I'm so glad they came out with a new one. I was really wanting more music from them. Not because I'm tired of their old stuff or anything, but I just, I think they're just so creative and they just have really, they have really good songs. And um, I always enjoy listening to their new stuff. Uh, every time something new comes out, I just w listen to every single one that comes out and just like, I have like my notifications on for when they post so I can just immediately <laughs> go listen. I, they're like the first band that I've ever actually like, liked everything of them. I, I have a very varied music taste, so it's very unusual for my, for me to like, um, you know, like, like every song from a, from a certain group or a certain band. So yeah, this is, it's rare. Ooh. I'm listening to the Korean version of Circus. It's kind of throwing me off for a loop, because like, I'm used to hearing it in Japanese. He's gonna be on the eviler side. I know it's just a child and, uh, what's his name? Oh my god, why am- Kurogiri, Jesus. Um, and he was like, kind of mean. But, I don't know, I just, I, 
I'm really imagining this f character fusion to be kind of, I don't know, not a nice guy. Maybe, maybe that's just me. I do have a, I do have a tendency to prefer the villain, so maybe that's just me. Mm -hmm. Feeling good right now. I don't know how much of this I'm allowed to sing on YouTube, <laughs> so sorry if it's broken, but just imagine that you can hear it with me. <laughs> There's gonna be music on top of this and that's gonna be so trippy. Mm. Ooh. I'm gonna move this up a little. Mm -hmm. There's another band I listen to called EXO, and um, they have like Mandarin and Korean versions of songs, and I, I really do just like certain languages, certain songs in certain languages. Like they have a song called Two Moons, and it, they have it in both Mandarin and Korean, and both of them are good, don't get me wrong. But I don't know, something about the Korean version I just like so much better. But like, for example, um, Oh my gosh, what's it called? Uh, they have a song, I think it's... Brrr, I forget what it's called, but I like that one in Mandarin more. So, I think it's really interesting how some songs just are like, yes. Although, I have noticed that the song I hear... The language I hear the song first in, I have a tendency to like more. I, I wonder if that's part of it. Who knows? <laughs> Okay, so he's gonna be kind of, he's gonna be skinny but big, because you know Albedo's a little little guy. <laughs> Albedo's a very little guy, so, but Gagamarka is huge. So um, I'm gonna have this guy be a, like, I'm gonna try and get him kind of in the middle of that. It's gonna be a little difficult, but uh, we're gonna try. Mm -hmm. I really want to sing along. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't a good idea to listen to music. Mm -hmm. Okay, so his hair. So he has, yeah, I'm gonna keep his bangs, or whatever that is. He kinda, they're kinda like shadows, honestly. I, are they in the middle of his head? I can't tell. Eh, oh well. They're gonna be in the middle of his head now. This isn't technically Albedo, so um, it's okay if it's a little off. Okay, let's see. So his hairline's a bit up, like here. I'm just gonna put his hairline in first and then we'll build around it. I notice I don't do that sometimes. I just like go immediately into the hair that's like long and like falls. Um, all right, so we'll go like that. Ooh. Okay, so... Um, I don't know how to do this from a side view. Something like that? Kind of? I feel like this guy's gonna end up looking like an entirely already existing separate character. <laughs> Whatever, it's okay. He kind of reminds me of the guy from, um, ooh, Princess Mononoke with that, like, curse on his hand. That's kind of where, where my mind's going with this, like, claw thing that he's looking at. Let's try something like that. I think I'll probably end up redoing the shape of this a little, but um, I'm gonna lower it actually, like this. Mm -hmm. Ah. Okay. Let's see. Gonna clean it up a little. Hmm. In fact, they're locked and loaded. Oh, Chang. <laughs> no, not Chang Bin. Ch Bang Chen is so uh, Australian in their new song. It's really, really awesome. I love when his accent, him, him and Felix's accent come through. It's wonderful. Hmm. 
okay, I don't hate it. Um, okay, so now it's kind of like swooshed back, honestly. It's like a little... Um, so getting orcas, it's kind of like a... I'm gonna be have it kind of long. It's gonna swoop up like the tail he has. I have no idea, honestly, what's going on with uh, Gang Orca's stuff. I have no idea what that is. So, you know what? <laughs> I've seen really, really cool fan art of like the personified version of them, and I'm just like, it's very impressive. I wish I could do that. I'm just not creative enough to make like personified versions of characters. I I'm just really not. Like this is already like kind of pushing my creativeness. <laughs> you would think cause like I'm an artist, like yeah, I'm creative. No, it, uh, no. I draw pre-existing characters. Um, and like, I love drawing, don't get me wrong. And I think I'm decent at it, but um, I can't draw like characters from my head. I can't, like, create a character. Like, I was asked to create a webtoon on my Instagram, or they just they just commented on the fact that my style would be really cool for a webtoon, and I was like, oh, thank you. I just can't can create, like, original characters. I would need someone to do it for me. I would need someone to, like, write the story and create the characters. I would happily draw the characters, but I just don't think I feel like I could create, like, detailed and, like, deep characters. I just don't feel like I have the, my, the skills in that. Okay, I don't hate it. I, I like how I say that in a, instead of, oh, I like it. No, I don't hate it. That might change, but so far we're okay. Okay, so he has a hood. Would the hood cover the hair or the hair cover the hood? I think the hood would cover the hair. Personally. Something like that. Um, okay. I'm not very good at drawing hoods. Hoods are kind of weird. They have weird physics. Something like that. Um, I don't want it to be that big, actually. I want it to be kind of on the... maybe like that. Um, I'm gonna, yeah, do something like that. And then, there we go. Okay, I like that. I like that so far. Alright, let's erase the hair that it's covering. It's basically Albedo with his hair down with a different outfit on. <laughs> I'll try to be, like, obviously a little bit more unique about it, but <laughs> that's essentially. Um, okay. So, um, it has to, like, gather here a little more. Hmm. Um, okay, so, and then it's like a sleeve, like a bell sleeve. I don't actually know. I am not a clothing fashion person, um, so excuse me if I say anything that isn't the actual name of it. I, I don't know what I'm talking about most of the time. Uh, I think the only time I slightly know what I'm talking about is, uh, when it comes to, like, ugh, I don't know, actually. I don't think I have anything I'm really good at. <laughs> uh, today in, I had, so I, I'm a college student in, uh, and I have an art class, and today we were experimenting with, um, ink, and so far I've kind of been mm, not, not necessarily not liking the class, but, um, oh, I just realized I don't have to do this, <laughs> sorry, um, I have... I haven't not been liking the class, but like I've just been struggling in it because I am a very like purely digital artist, and it's a very it's a traditional art class. So um, and I don't know. I've just been struggling. Like it just made me remember this is why I don't do this anymore. <laughs> um, I started traditional, and I, I I'm okay at traditional, but I I prefer digital by a very large margin. But anyways, we finally um we finished our um, charcoal unit 
and now we're on to ink and I am so happy we've moved on I was so bad at charcoal oh my god um, we took we tried to do like this reductive style oh my god I have never been so bad like art has always been a thing I feel pretty confident in oh my gosh no not not then not then it was bad I just ooh, I didn't get it I couldn't think about it like that because like with reductive you basically cover the whole paper with charcoal and then you like erase that's how you build your drawing is you just you go from lights to darks and it was just I don't know something about it just did not click in my head and um woof ooh, it was bad um and I'm so glad we moved on because I struggled with that and I I'm, I'm ready to uh to do something else but we moved on to ink and I've been really enjoying it because um, ink is probably the closest thing that we've done in like traditional art that is closest to like how I draw because um, I have very like smooth confident strokes I don't know why I just always have um, but um, yeah I, I just it's been the closest thing to like how I draw and I love it so much. I'm so excited to continue and do, we have a project due for it already, um, and I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do. However, I'm way more looking forward to this than I am, well, than I was the other drawing. And in fact, I actually was like hating my life when I was doing that other drawing. I wanna do this like, S more swirly. I want this jacket to just kind of like floof, like full on Snape. Hmm, how should I do that? Hmm. Well, that needs to go like that, obviously, because that's just how his body goes. Let's try something like that. I need to really get better at um, cloaks. I don't draw clothing that much, so I f need to do probably like a fabric study soon because um, I just don't know how fabric moves very well. It's just not something I'm very good at. I want it to be all floofy like it is in the reference photo. How does it do that? So, sorry Gang Orca, I'm gonna need to cover you up for just a second. So it like floofs and then it Floofs again, but like don't overlap the lines. Oh my goodness, okay. Flo uh, that was too soft of a floof. Okay, there we go. And then it, it like, it's like, ooh, it's like, shoo. and then, and then it goes like, shoo. and then, and then on this side, it's like, shoo. and then it goes like that again, but better. Um, and, uh, yeah. And then it goes whoosh. Okay, I mean, not bad. It could be whooshier, but eh, it's good for now. I'll clean it up later. <laughs> I hope you guys know that everyone knows, well, maybe not everyone, but I am a firm believer that you draw so much better if you make sound effects, because that's just, you know, just makes everything better. Uh, and then the chain is gonna go here. I, this is not what I'm doing for the chain. I just don't really want to draw the individual links right now. I want to make it actually... That's fine. I'll just do the individual links. <laughs> this is gonna be mostly made out of color when I color it, so... I have to do a Photoshop assignment tonight. And you bet I'm doing this instead of that. <laughs> you betcha. Okay, let's see. So this is his other arm. This is the jacket. And then he has this, like, collar thing. Something like that. And his vision is right there. Um, I don't know if I'm going to include his vision since this is a fusion, but uh, I did kind of like including it in the other one. I did it on uh, Child and 
Kurogiri's fusion. So, okay, so then this is a very tight fitting formal vest. So, I would imagine it's pretty set on the contours of his body. Um, and then it kind of goes like that. But it's on like the front of his thigh, so I guess it would probably be a little bit closer to something like that. Yeah, something like that, I'd assume. Mm, let's get rid of this, just to check. Yeah, I don't hate it. Oops, sorry. I just got rid of him. <laughs> okay, so what did I say for pants? I wanted Gang Orca's pants. They're kind of just regular baggy suit pants. I could do that. Um, I kind of drew those last time. But they're going to be tucked in to the shirt. So, or I guess the vest. Whatever. The clothing. The piece, the article of clothing that is on him. <laughs> okay, let's try. Eh. I didn't like that fold. My art has gotten much messier since I started re going back to traditional art. Because, like, I don't know. I don't really sketch when I do um, digital art. I kind of just go for it because I know I can just undo. But um, obviously traditional art, you can't do that. So I've started get my, getting my sketchiness back. I kind of want him to have those boots though, or at least like the bottom part of the boots. I just like that shape better. I think it's a little bit more delicate. Let's see if I can get that shape though. Not bad. I'm definitely gonna have to like re-proportion this. I can already tell something's gonna be like the wrong size for his body. But that's fine. I have to do that anyway usually, so nothing out of the out of the ordinary. Okay. Um, so the trick I, or the problem I usually have is I have a hard time making the feet look like they're on the same floor. So I'm just gonna draw a line to try and help myself. I have a thing for thick thighs, so he's probably, he has much thicker thighs than uh, he probably normally would if this was a real person. However, I'm an artist, I can do that. Don't judge me. I think, I think thick thighs are great. On everyone. <laughs> everyone should have a pair of thick thighs. I don't. Which is such a shame, too. But, um, other than that, <laughs> I wish I did. I go to the gym quite a bit, and it's helped a lot, but my body type is very, like, skinny and athletic. So, um... I, I have a hard time getting any kind of thickness, <laughs> which I know I should be grateful for, and I am, but you know, you know, everyone wants what they can't have. Okay, how, what, <laughs> I didn't like that at all. Okay, um, how would this look from a front view? Um... Sorry, I'm getting a lot of notifications. I, so my family was given an Apple Watch um, by a family friend who just didn't want it anymore. And um, my mom had it for a long time and she didn't really wear it. And so I was like, mom, I would really like to have this this cool thing. Can, can I have it? And she was like, mm, no. And so I was like, okay. <laughs> and so I kind of gave up, but then I was like, you know, it'd be really cool to have this. It's like several years later, like maybe like five or six. I was like, you know, it'd be really cool to have this this thing again. And she was like, yeah, sure, you can have it this time. And I was like, yay. But honestly, it's kind of like mm, annoying because <laughs> it's just it it buzzes. I can I need to like turn off notifications on it. I don't really know how. I'm kind of new to it, but it like buzzes. And sometimes when I'm trying to like concentrate, it's like very distracting. And, or like if I'm, 
if I posted something and I'm getting like a lot of hate for it, for like, because that does happen. It's very sad. Um, I don't like, I mean, no one likes hate, but I don't deal well with hate. I just get very like obsessive and I'm like, oh, someone has to like it. So um, I, sometimes it's just kind of annoying because I kind of need to like not have that always in my face. Um, so I think I might try to see if I can turn notifications off of it. I think that would be very beneficial for me in the long run. Um, we, I need to like really work on healthy mechanisms for being on social media because I know it's a pretty easy rabbit hole to like kind of fall down. Um, when you're trying to like create and get popular, it's very easy to just make it a numbers game and you know kind of obsess over attention. But um, I'm really trying to like not let that happen to me. Um, I'm working on it. I think I'm doing okay so far. Um, I'm sure there's things I could do better, but um, I think it's really important to kind of stay grounded, uh, especially in the beginning, because then if it's if you're grounded in the beginning, when you, even when you're like super popular, you you have that foundation. So um, not saying I'm gonna get super popular. I mean that'd be really cool, but um, <laughs> not saying I will. But eh, I think his legs needs to, leg needs to be a little thicker. I want him to have some muscle. Not that Albeda doesn't have muscle, but he's like me. He's a he's a lean muscle. I want a beefy muscle because he's mixed with Gang Orca, who's a very beefy um, creature. I was gonna say man, but um, I don't know if he wants to be called that. He's not really a man. I mean, like he he is sort of. I don't know, but anyways. Heh, <laughs> that kind of looks like every middle schooler's, um, sweatpants. <laughs> it's okay. I don't mind it. He just needs pants. They don't need to be special. Um, okay, now I need his arm. He doesn't have, like, his arm is, like, exposed. This is kind of where I was going with that. I was like, he doesn't have sleeves. But he does. But they're short sleeves. I like this jacket a lot. Um, Albedo has a jacket that I would wear just in daily life. If it wasn't so hot where I live. Oh my god. It is so hot here. I have so many sweatshirts because I just like sweatshirts. They're just like one of my favorite things to, to wear. And I grew up in a place that was pretty cold. So having sweatshirts was like a really good thing. <coughs> Whew. Excuse me. Anyways, um, I grew up in a place where it was really important to have sweatshirts because it was super cold. And then I moved to a place that's like really hot and it never gets below like 60 degrees. It's terrible. Um, and so sometimes I'm just so desperate to wear a sweatshirt, I just suffer being in a sweatshirt when it's too hot. I'm just like, you know what? I don't care. I want to, I want to wear one of my sweatshirts. I want to make him bigger. I think I can do that without messing with it too much. I think I can just make this part a little bigger, actually. I'm gonna try this. Yeah. He looks very emo, but I mean, Albedo's pretty emo, so who am I kidding? Um. I'm gonna make this a little foldier. I'm gonna look at Gang Orca's pants again. I think those are pretty... I guess they're cuffed, huh? I need them to go over the shoes, though, so... They're gonna be uncuffed. Hmm. And then, there's more detail on the vest, but I'll put that in when I color. Hmm. I have no idea how I'm gonna color this jacket. Like, I don't know what I'm gonna use to color. Like, if I'm gonna, I'm gonna use Gang Orca's uh, color palette, but like, you know, that's a lot of, there's a lot of fluidity with that. Um, okay, all right, I'm gonna stop there real quick and add some, put, take some pictures of my hands for the hand, hand references, and then I'll be back. Uh, my face is in a lot of them, that's why I like to cut the camera for that. But I'll be right back for you guys. Alright, I'm back. Uh, that took 
uh, way longer than I thought. Not for you guys, but for me. Um, I think this is the finished product. Um, I made his legs a little wider, so he's just a little more balanced. Uh, and obviously I added the hands. I wanted it to be kind of like only one hand, because um, I any of you who play Genshin, uh, he kind of has like a, a, a deal going on. He's like kind of cursed and he's fighting something. Um, I'm honestly not 100% sure. I don't, <laughs> I didn't really do his quest line, so I'm not 100% sure. I've only seen like edits on TikTok. Um, but he's like cursed and he's like, I don't know. Anyways, I, but I thought just one hand was more appropriate. Uh, and so I only turned one hand to be kind of well, the monstery. I mean, it's Gang Orca's hand, so. Um, and I'm gonna color it. I'm gonna use Gang Orca's colors on the jacket and the pants, and then I'm gonna use Al um, Albedo's colors, probably maybe on the lining, like the hood and the shirt, and obviously his hair and skin tone are gonna be Albedo's and his eye color. And then his hand's gonna be whatever color Gang Orca is, like that almost black. Um, and the shoes are gonna be Gang Orcas as well. And I probably will add his vision, because as I'm saying it out loud, there's a lot of Gang Orca elements, but I would like to add more Albedo elements. So I think I'm gonna add his vision to it. Um, I know it's like right in the middle of his chest. But yeah, other than that, I think, uh, I think this is good. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll probably see more things to fix later and uh, while I'm coloring it, but that's fine. Um, but yeah, this is the finished product, um, Gang Orca and Albedo Fusion. Um, oh, I love this series so much. <laughs> um, anywho, uh, yep, this is what we're with. Um, I will color this sometime this week, uh, and it will be posted eventually, uh, by the end of the week, promise. I'm pretty good about it. Uh, I will be updating, I update in real time on my Instagram stories, so if y'all are like curious or you know you're antsy or you just curious what I'm up to, um, you should follow me there because, whoa, sorry I dropped my pen, because <laughs> I give the most like recent and real time updates on my Instagram, so yeah. Um, yep, so he'll be colored and posted on my Instagram this week, by the end of the week. And if I like it enough, I'll probably make a print of it. Uh, so far, I'm liking it, so I think it's very likely that he'll be a print as well. But, um, yeah. Uh, if you guys are uh, would like to, and you have the time and the disposable income, supporting me on my print shop would mean a lot to me. Uh, I put a lot of work into that, and um, it would just be really cool And if uh, y'all could support me that way. But obviously no pressure, I appreciate any kind of support, even if it's just watching my video. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for you today. Um, hold on, I don't like this, this feels very impersonal. There we go, much better. <laughs> Alright, but um, yeah, I think I'll wrap up there. Um, I'll be back, I think I'm gonna do a, so I'm gonna try and restructure my uh, YouTube videos, just a little, not much. But instead of doing two speed paints or two fusions a week, I'm gonna do gaming highlights because one, I'm running out of speed paints because I just don't do full realism as often as I post YouTube videos, so inevitably it's just gonna catch up. Um, and also, uh, I'm I like doing gaming highlights and I think they're fun and I would they're a lot of work, but I think they're really fun and I enjoy doing them. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna have, from now on, I'm gonna do my best, the goal is, the dream is, <laughs> to have one fusion, um, video upload, one speed paint video upload, and one game highlights upload a week. So that's three videos a week, hopefully. Um, I wish I could do more for you guys, I just do not have the time. I, I'm a full-time, uh, I'm, I take classes full-time, I have homework, um, I also, you know, I have a job, <laughs> um, and I have friends, which is crazy. I can't believe I can say that, but yeah. So um, I'm like another human being, so unfortunately I can't give you guys videos all the time, but um, that's what I can do for you now. I hope that's good enough. But that's all I have for you today. I'll stop rambling. He'll be up by the end of the week if y'all are curious and want to see him. If you want a print of him, he'll be up on my print shop the same time he is uploaded in full color. I do those two together, just to make it nice and easy. But yeah, that's all I have for you today, and I'll be back with 
um, I believe another a speed paint. So see ya whenever that is. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.